In many cases, we have to solve a problem mathematically. We have to figure something out, that, and it involves math, finding the answer. But the problem we're trying to figure out is usually stated in words. It's written English or spoken English, and we have to translate the English into mathematics in order to solve the problem. For example, someone might say, okay, that will cost $300 for the new sink, and $125 for the mirror, and $48 for the faucet. So we're buying some parts here to fix up the bathroom. $300 for the sink, $125 for the mirror, and $48 for the faucet. You have to recognize that that problem involves addition. And the key there is the word and. $300 for the new sink, and $125 for the mirror, and $48 for the faucet. So if we wanted to know the total amount, we would write something like $300 plus 125 plus 48, and we could add them up. And in this case, we add the 8 and the 5, and that gives us a 13. We carry the 1. 4 and 2 and six is 6, and 1 is 7, and the 3 and 1 is 4. Cost a total of $473 to buy these three things. That was 300 for the, the sink, 125 for the mirror, and 48 for the faucet. And situations like this are common in everyday life. We have to recognize, based on the usage of words, when we're going to have to add or subtract or multiply or divide or something else. In this case, we're talking about addition. But we need to understand that certain words or phrases commonly are used to indicate addition. And I'll mention some of these. The word some obviously indicates addition. The word add or and indicates addition, as we've seen, or the word plus. Those are all pretty obvious. Um, the phrase add to, or sometimes the word more, or the phrase more than. Like if I have, if, if Bob has $5 and I have $6 more than him, how many dollars do I have? Well, you would have to recognize that that would be adding the 5 and the 6. Sometimes the word increased or the phrase increased by, sometimes those phrases are used to represent addition, or the word total, or the, word, or the, the phrase in addition to. Or additional or additionally. All of those are commonly used in English statements or written statements of problems in the English language to represent addition. And here's an example. In July, there were 12 students signed up for the class, and um, I see a little typographical error right there. That should say, there were. In July, there were 12 students signed up for the class. During the month of August, six more students signed up. What was the total number of students in the class? Well, based on the usage of the words here, you should recognize that this is addition. Six more students signed up. That's six more in addition to the 12 that were already there. And you're asked, what was the total? So these words here, more and total, clue you in that you need to do addition. 12 plus 6, and the answer is 18. And, and the addition here is obvious. 12 plus 6 is 18. That's easy. The point here is recognizing the words, recognizing that certain words are commonly used to indicate addition.